Hi folks. In this lesson, we're going to get our system set up and ready to run through the practical examples that follow a little later in the course. I'm going to assume that you have Node.js installed, but this is really the only prerequisite. Node, as well as Yeoman, are both run from the command line and are used in the same way on Windows, OS X, and Linux. Yeoman is installed via NPM, so really, once Node itself is installed, using Yeoman is pretty much identical on all platforms. I'll be using Windows throughout the course, but really it doesn't matter. Although not strictly necessary, if you are using Windows and don't have a decent console emulator, you might want to install Commander, which is the console emulator that I'm using. It's a great tool. If you grab the full version, it gives you some nice Git integration and a bunch of really useful Unix tools. So I'd recommend that you give it a go if you don't already have a suitable alternative. It's available from gooseberrycreative.com forward slash cmder. So let's open up the console and we can install Yeoman with a very simple command. The command is npm install hyphen g yo. And what that will do is install the yo tool globally for us. So we should see some activity in the console. And then at the end, the Yeoman doctor will run and just make a few basic checks on the system. Yo is the scaffolding tool, one part of our Yeoman workflow. The current version is 1.4.6. We should also install the grunt CLI so that we can run grunt from the command line. And we'll use a very similar command to install this. So this time the command is npm install hyphen g grunt hyphen cli. The grunt cli application allows us to run grunt from the command line, but it's not actually the task runner grunt. A popular alternative to grunt, for which there are also many generators, is gulp. We'll use grunt in this course because it's what I'm familiar with, but just be aware that we aren't restricted to this. So yo is just one aspect of our yeoman workflow. It's not the only one that needs to be installed globally. Yo doesn't have to be installed globally, of course, but there's no reason why it would need to be installed on a per project basis. We won't use it after having run the generator to start up our project. We can also install Bower globally so that the generators we use and the one that we'll create can use it to install the front end dependencies. We can install it globally with this command. npm install hyphen g bower. Grunt itself, the task runner grunt, not the CLI, is slightly different. This tool will be installed by the generator and will be used while the project is being actively developed. Yo itself is only ever used before development on the project begins. It gets us to the state where we can immediately begin developing. Bower is used whenever we want to install a new dependency. And by dependency, I mean a front-end dependency like a framework or library, something like jQuery or Backbone. So the generator that we'll be building in this course is comprised of the different frameworks and development tools that I personally usually use. I'm a JavaScript developer, so this stack is geared up towards front-end JavaScript development. We'll look at exactly what the generator will be installing in more detail in the next lesson. So let's get our project folder set up. We can create a new folder somewhere convenient, I'm just going to put mine on the desktop. The folder name should be in the format generator hyphen something, where something is the name of the generator. So I'm going to call my folder generator hyphen JSTAC. We can also create a new folder inside this folder, and this one should be called app. Inside the new app folder, we can add a script file called index.js. The folder structure for our generator is important, and we need to have either a folder called generators, containing a folder called app, or just a folder called app at the root directory. We'll go with this latter setup. We can also have other folders for subgenerators if we wish, which should be sibling folders of the app folder. We'll look at this in more detail later in the course. So now we're all set to start developing. 
Let's just move on to the final introductory lesson where we take a quick look at what the example generator will be doing and I'll explain briefly why I favor this particular stack. Thanks for watching.